That's why you got joint problems. Why right then they open up all these cap pack the business everywhere you go. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Yeah. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. The most I ain't gonna destroy all oh, y'all so-called Negro Latinos. But why? Because it's something, something deep, man. Something deep called reincarnation. We, all these people on the sign, they're going to make it in the kingdom, but they're going to have to die on this side. I'm saying? They're going to have to die paying for death. That's why we're talking about two-thirds. So you, we read it earlier so you understand when we say two-thirds. Two-thirds of our people going to have to die a pay for death right here in America. But even in the new kingdom, the most I gonna put that shame on them. And that's in Daniel 12 chapter, the most I gonna put that shame on them forever. Cause why? Y'all was mocking them. When they was out here, y'all walk by, I'm a stoplight. They're like, damn, I'm about to go to Hooters on the sport bar. And let me see what these guys talking about. They got signs. When you see, when you see signs like, damn, a, um, says Ray with the, the white God, the white Jesus. When they see this picture, the Latin tribe, they should be like, damn, that should grab their attention. But they look at it, they do that, that, that cross pay face, man. Like they take, the, they take the dump. Who's that? Who's that guy? I should go and ask this guy what, what, what that picture supposed to mean. You know what I'm saying? But they just walk by, they in fear. But they, they fear the so-called white man. When they fear the, um, the Lord, man. How, how that proof that? When it's time to pay their bills, they be like, damn, they, they hustle, they hustle real hard. It's time to make that, that deadline to pay the bill. When it's time to pay their tithe or follow the law, statutes, commandment, they don't put that same effort. They don't. See? But we try, we try, we try to go hard, man. Try to keep the law, statutes, commandment. That's what separates from the rest of these people. We try to keep where they try, man. That's what separates. Yeah, that John four and twenty. That's what separates the boys from the men. I know him in different languages. Shalom, one of the ones I first learned besides dealing with the adjunct of Islam from everything. I don't really deal with that. You know what I'm saying? I just learned to say Salam, Shalom, Pause, Peace, Prayer. How you Shalom? Like how you Shalom? Yeah, yeah, Shalom. You see this right here going on? This, that's not bring back our people. You know what I'm saying? What, what type of vibration he pushing? Tell him everything gonna be all right. We we not in the time of that, man. But bring out scripture about love, man. Go ahead. This is John 14 and 24. He that loveth me, not keepeth not. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to say. 14 and 23. John 14 and 23. Yeah, I was shot answered and said unto him, yeah. If a man love me, he will keep my words, yeah. and my fathers will love him. Uh -huh. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. So, real love, according to the Bible, what we just read, is keep the commandments. In the church, they're going to tell you it's only 10. But it's all told together, it's 613 laws, man. So when, when you read it from like Exodus, from Amos, Jeremiah, or John, whatever, you, you, if the Lord said, don't do this, right, my right, brother, right, don't do this, right. son, that's don't eat this, that's not a law. Right, right. So what you saying is only 10. Right. They're a bunch of dummies, right, man. Right, right. See why two things got to get destroyed on the side? Right, right, right. They, they not going to make it, man. They just not. Uh, Romans 3 and 31. Oh, yeah. We're about, we're about to wrap it up, too, man. It's funny, because in the church, that's why we laugh at them, man. A brother, we still in this, too, right? Just, just to get a quick laugh, we'll, we'll probably turn on TBN for, like, less than five minutes just to get a, a laugh, man. Just get a laugh. Can't laugh longer than that. Cause these people fall for every single little thing. The first thing they do, all right, Pat. You know the main pastor, right? First thing they do, cause we, man, we grew up in the church, man. The nigga woman, man, we have to, 
grease our nappy ass head. Make sure you write the Babylon tie. And we go there, man. Church, man, I used to fall asleep, man. That was the most side. Put me to sleep, man. All the time in the church. So the thing they do in the church is routine. You know it's a routine. You got a damn pack. You walk in, you know they gonna sing and dance. And shit, they gonna pass on the offer plate like two or three times. <laughs> it's funny as fuck, cause it's true, right? It's true. And then they gonna and then they gonna tell about a little testimony what happened. Or oh, today we got we got summer camp going on for the kids. We trying to build a new building. And now the cry gonna come out and say, oh, uh-huh. And oh, we got another donation going on here, my sister. And we gotta pass the plate around again. And then the last 30 minutes or 40 minutes, that's when the pastor gonna come. Everybody got stand up like he God, man. Fuck out of here, man. He ain't no God. Most of gonna kill these false prophets, man. That's right. And you gotta stand up, man. Man, fucking crazy. And he he'll bring out the Bible and he'll he'll read one script and talk for fucking 30 minutes. How long you been here, brother? For like an hour plus whatever. When I'm talking. What, did I bring out one scripture for all and talk? Or I'll let the word talk. I'll let the most high talk. Well go ahead, bro. Um, three and thirty-one. Romans three and thirty-one. This is Romans three and thirty-one. And that's another script that says Romans three and four said, Let God be true and every man a liar. I'm saying? But go ahead, bro. Do we then make void the law through faith? Do so so we don't gotta keep the old testament? That's what they say in the church, right? We don't, don't got to keep the Old Testament because by faith, man, I got grace. The most I got salvation for me, man. But that's what Post, um, Pastor Porchard tell you. Creflo Dollar tell you. T.D. Faith. Know what I'm saying? What? God forbid. Not God forbid, man. Me, no, hell no. What you mean? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't writing this in the Old Testament and the New Testament for no reason. I'm the most high, baby. What? Yeah, we established the law. Yeah, we supposed to establish the law. We supposed to keep the law. We po we supposed to grow our beard, man. We don't supposed to shave it off like a baby booty cheek, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't supposed we don't supposed to get tattoos. We don't supposed to get tattoos on our body. You know what I'm saying? It was nice coming out, man. We about we about to close, man. Come on, man. Every Saturday, man. The Sabbath don't drop every Saturday, man. It changed. Oh, okay, I'm just saying. But it's a diff different That's episode, what, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around, we'll teach different episode. And with that, I'll pray to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and double on to the elders of Great Millstone. And brought it down to the rest of the action that pushed the word sincerely. With that, Shalom. 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 Shalom.